My name is Gary Codner. I'm the Associate Dean Teaching from the Faculty of Engineering and we won the Vice-Chancellor's Award for Programs that Enhance Teaching and Learning and the program was the Leadership in the Technological Environment program. So the, the issue or the question is why did we apply for an award for this program? And I think the simple answer is that we simply wanted recognition of the program. We think the program is, is good. It, it has been written up uh, in an MIT report as being a good program, but we wanted further recognition through the Vice-Chancellor's Award. It's, um, also, so that we could then go back to industry and show them that within the university, the program was act actually well regarded and well recognised. How did we go about gathering evidence to support the application? Well, it was actually around the other way. From the minute we started the program, we were evaluating every unit and every module. So uh, the program consists of annual residentials and a total of nine modules over three years. Every time there is a residential, every time there is a module, we evaluate that with the students with a number of questions, particularly what was good about the, the module or the residential, what could be improved. We then sit down with the facilitators and improve the program from year to year. So from the very start, long before we thought about applying for any type of award, we had the evidence, but the evidence was initially for us so that we could go about improving the, uh, the product, improving the program and making sure that we had the very best we, we could do. So by the time we came to look at uh, applying for an award, all the evidence was there. So we didn't have to go back to anybody, to uh, facilitators, to industry, to students and ask for anything. One of the things that I did do before writing the application was actually to write a conference paper on the program and I think that helped enormously because it made me think about what, were the re what was the story about the leadership program, what were the objectives, uh, what was the reason for starting the program, uh, where was the evidence to support this so that I could convince an academic audience that the program was valuable and valid. And in doing that I had to think about how it all fitted together. It wasn't just a program. Now we had done this in many different forms for many different audiences and I think that's something that's beneficial. So it wasn't just a conference paper. I had written smaller but similar documents um, for industry, for the faculty beforehand because the whole time because we are going out to industry and getting money for scholarships, we have had to justify the value and how good the program is. So understanding why you're doing things and what is the narrative that you want to tell and what are the highlights is a very important part of the process. Hard about writing the application. Um, this might sound egotistical, but I didn't actually find writing the application hard because we had all of the evidence. Once you've got the evidence, I think the application almost writes itself because you know what you want to write about, you know what you want to uh, highlight. What helped write the application was getting access to a previous application that had been successful so that when you look at the questions and the style you can see what has been successful before. Once I'd seen that um, structuring and producing or, and documenting the, uh, the evidence into the proper form was actually quite easy. My advice to people thinking about and teams thinking about writing uh, for a Vice-Chancellor's Award in the future is a long time before you actually want to apply for the award, look at look at the ap application process. So what are the questions and make sure that you have the evidence and have gathered the evidence long before you even start to think about writing the, uh, the application. So that you're not thinking, well, I want to put in an application this year, these are the questions, I don't have the evidence, you've got to go off and uh, in a rushed manner gather the evidence. So 
start, I would say, even two years before you actually mean to apply um, in the way that we did. Gather the evidence, um, talk to people, make sure that you understand that your own program really is worthy of at least going forward for the application because it's all too easy to think what we do is really good but if it's not verified by others then really you're wasting your time uh, applying and you're wasting the time of those reading the application.